Does Instagram still ruin your video quality in 2025? I ran 18 detailed tests and downloaded the file directly from their servers to find out if export settings still matter at all. The result might surprise you. Stick around because Adam Mossery might actually be telling the truth this time. Quick intro if we haven't met. I'm Stas, videographer with 15 years of software engineering background. I wanted real data instead of guessing, so I downloaded my reels directly from Instagram servers and analyzed them pixel by pixel. Have you noticed this tiny little download button under Reels sharing option? When you use it, you get the video directly from Instagram file storage. Do you see where I'm going with this? That's the exact file the Instagram keeps after making all compressions on their site. So we can do some reverse engineering to find out which video export settings does the Instagram like the most. To accurately test this, I created 18 exports covering multiple combinations. HD, Full HD and 4K resolutions, H.264 and H.265 codecs, bit rates of 4, 12 and 40 megabits per second. Then I uploaded all these videos into Instagram, downloaded them back and inspected their uh, metadata using the FF Probe, a command line tool which comes with FFmpeg and which can give detailed information about any video file. Here is what surprised me. Every single file got re-encoded into exact same format. HD resolution, H.265 codec, approximately 14 megabits per second, and frame rate got unchanged. Even the lower bitrate of 4 megabits per second and the highest bitrate of 40 megabits per second were equalized to 14 megabits per second. Instagram basically resets everything to this one standard. But here is the critical question. Does your original export even matter anymore? To find out, I carefully compared visual quality across all tests group by group. After multiple rounds of comparisons and narrowing down winners from each category, I faced an unexpected result. It was incredibly hard to spot clear differences. So here is my honest conclusion. In 2025, Instagram doesn't significantly degrade your videos anymore. You can literally upload almost any decent quality video and it will come out looking good. Adam Mossery, the Instagram's head, wasn't lying when he said that video settings don't really matter nowadays. Just don't forget to enable upload at highest quality option in the Instagram app settings. However, there is still one catch. I did notice a small but consistent problem. Videos encoded with H.265 gained a slight magenta tint compared to H.264. You can see it clearly here on the road. So if you spend hours on color correction and color grading, I personally recommend you using H.264 codec to keep your colors true. If you prefer a safe tested export settings based on my results, use this. Full HD resolution, H.264 codec, bitrate between 12 and 14 megabits per second, and frame rate between 24 and 30. These settings will always keep your videos looking sharp and true to your original colors. You may ask why I chose Full HD resolution but not HD, which Instagram uses internally. That's mostly to make your videos more compatible with other platforms like YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Finally, a quick behind the scenes insight. Why does Instagram bother recompressing at all? Storage. People upload billions of videos daily. Data centers build companies per stored gigabyte. And storage is a major ongoing cost. By recompressing everything uniformly, Instagram saves significant resources. Trust me, I know this firsthand from years in IT, working closely with user uploaded files. So, Instagram video quality in 2025. Pretty solid, regardless of your export. 
But if you want a guaranteed clean result, stick to the recommended settings above. Drop a comment below. Have you noticed any quality loss in your Instagram uploads lately? Subscribe, because I'm going to share more useful videography tips with you soon. Bye.